dancing friends. I'm so happy to see you today. I'm ready to move and I hope that you are too. Let's go and find our dancing ways. Come on over boys and girls. It's so good to see all of you today. It snowed at Miss Tammy's house today. I've been out doing some shoveling and letting my dog Bastion play. We're gonna see what we need for today's dancing ways. Just a couple of things. We need our socks again, just like in our last lesson. Seven or eight socks is great, even a few more if you want. We need a crayon. I have a whole box here, but even just one will be okay. If you have a whole box, then you might want to use more than one more color. And a piece of paper. That's all we need. I'll see you in whatever room you choose to move in today. Welcome back, boys and girls. Let's get moving. Can you please go get one of the socks or the mittens that you have with you for today? Let's bring it out into our moving space and set it down somewhere in an open space. Listen to Miss Tammy. I will give you words to tell you what we are going to do in relation to the sock or mitten, whatever it is you have there. Let's find our starting shapes. Here we go, jumping over our spot. Forward and backward. Very good. And jump, 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 jump. Can we jump side to side? Jump, jump, side, side. Jumps. Very good, boys and girls. Let's go around with tiptoes. Around our spot. Stop. Backwards. Tiptoes. Around. Backward. Good for you, my dancing friends. Stop. Let's go galloping away from our spot. with me. Twinkle, twinkle. 
go, little star, stretch those legs up high. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And light up one more star. Very good. Let's do it one more time, a little bit faster. Let's stay standing. Here we go. Lighting up those stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder what you are and find our last way, reaching, stretching, and rest. Wonderful boys and girls. Let's find our sitting way on our pockets. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so tired. Can you find your sleeping way? Curled right down on the ground. One morning, Susie Q, was laying in her bed sleeping. And across town, Danny Z was laying in his bed sleeping. And they heard their mama say, Susie Q, Danny Z, it's time to wake up and get ready for the day. So Susie Q and Danny Z sat up. Can you sit up with me, Miss, with Miss Tammy, boys and girls? And they stretch their arms. Can you stretch your arms long, reaching so big? And they stretch their legs. What can we do with our legs? Can we reach them up high? We could maybe even make our feet go round and round. Reaching, stretching both of those legs. Very good, my dancing friends. And they stretch their back. Big arch, look up, up, up to the sun. And twist, and twist. And they said, oh, we better get ready for the day. So they needed to get dressed. They picked up their pants, brand new pants. Mama did not want their pants to get wrinkled. Do you see what happens to Miss Tammy's pants if I bend my knees? So I have to keep them straight, straight, straight. They picked up their pants, keeping those knees so straight and reached over, over, over with the one leg and over, over, over with the other and they buttoned it up tight. Then Susie Q and Danny Z got their brand new shirts all ironed fresh and they sat up straight and tall so they would not get wrinkles and they put on one sleeve with tall straight backs and the other sleeve and long arms and buttoned it up just so. And now they were all dressed, but they still need shoes and socks. Uh-oh, keep those knees so straight. No wrinkles in our pants. One sock and the other sock. And then Susie Q and Danny Z put on one old shoe can you see that foot going straight up, up, up? And one brand new shoe. Can you see the other foot going down, down, down? Very good, that's kind of tricky. Very good, boys and girls. And they came to the kitchen for their breakfast. But their mamas took one look at them and said, are we ready? Boys and girls, can you shout out with me? Not too loud. Susie Q, and then we'll say Danny Z. Ready? Big arms. Susie!
Rosie Q, Danny Z, change your shoes. All right, Mama. So Susie Q and Danny Z went back down to their room. Knees very straight. Ready? And they changed their shoes. They came back to the kitchen. Their mamas took one look at them and said, ready, get our arms ready and our voices. Susie Q, Danny Z, change your shoes. All right, mama. So they went back down and they decided, hmm, I think I will change my shoes three times. So they changed them. One, two, very good boys and girls making those feet switch. Three. And they came back to the kitchen. Their mamas took one look at them and said, Susie Q, Danny Z, change your shoes. All right, Mama. They went back downstairs again. But suddenly they looked at their feet and said, oh, We keep putting on one old shoe. We see that old shoe going right up to the ceiling, strong feet. Very good, boys and girls. And one brand new shoe. Oh. So they put on their other new shoe. Let me see those two new shoes, both pointing straight ahead. If our shoes go in like this, that will get them all scratched up and ruined. So we want to keep them straight ahead side by side. Very good, boys and girls. They came back to the kitchen, ate their breakfast, and finally they were ready for the day. Let's stretch our arms out to the side, balancing on our pockets, and criss-cross applesauce. Sit up so straight and tall. Boys and girls, do you know that when we move through the space, we leave pathways wherever we go? Come up with me to standing and let's move around for a minute. You move your own ways. Imagine if you still had some of that paint on your toes from Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and everywhere you went, it would leave a pathway showing that you went this way and that way. It would leave some kind of design or pathway on the floor. Today, let's look at three main pathways we use when we move and dance. The first way we are going to look at is straight pathways. Do you see how straight that line goes? I could go galloping in a straight pathway. Up we go. Let's find our galloping toes and can you come straight toward the screen that you are looking at with me? Ready, set, go. Galloping straight, straight, straight. Whoa! How about with a run? Go back to your spot. Here we go, running in a straight pathway. Running and stop. Very good, boys and girls. Our body parts can move in straight pathways too. Let's find our arm. We can take our arm going up, up, up in a straight pathway. We could go down to the side, straight down. Our leg can lift up high in a straight pathway and back down. Straight up, straight down. Straight pathways. 
Another pathway I like to create when I go moving all through the space is a curvy pathway. A curvy pathway goes up, 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 but then it changes direction. And with a very smooth curve, it decides to go down, down, down. And then up, up, up. Down, down, down. But do you see, each time it changes directions, it makes that change very smooth. It looks like part of a circle, doesn't it? Do you see how curvy and round that change of direction is? We call this a curving pathway. And we can do that in our traveling ways. Let's come back to that starting place again. Are you ready? Let's use those galloping ways to go curving this way and that way. Here we go. Galloping, curving, and curve this way and that way. Very good. Let's try it with our runs. Running this way and that way. Curving. Curving. What about our arm? Let's go curving this way and that way. Curving smooth changes in direction. And back down, the arm goes this way and that way and this way and that way. Our leg can go curving, balancing, curving, 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 and back down. Down, down, down. Curving pathways. One more for us to look at today. This one also changes directions, but it does not do it in a curvy, smooth way. It goes up and then makes a very sharp change in direction. And then quick change, sharp. Do you see how sharp and pointy this is? Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. It's very pointy and sharp. Let's see if we can try that way with those gallops that we were doing. Come to your spot. We're going to come toward the screen. Are you ready? Here we go. Galloping this way, and then our body goes shoo, sharp changes, and galloping shoo, sharp quick change, gallop and gallop and gallop and gallop. How about with our runs? Run, Wah. sharp, sharp, zig zag, zig zag. Is your arm ready? I'll come a little closer. Here we go with our arm. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. Can we try it with our elbow? Our elbow is very sharp. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. What about with our toes? Zig, zag, zig, zag. Our knee. Zig, zag, zig, zag. <gasps> sharp. Zig, zag. Changing. Directions. So sharp. All right. I'm going to get another piece of paper. You don't need your paper and crayon quite yet. We will actually use that after our dancing day. I'm going to connect these pathways we just did into one pathway now. Let's start. Hmm. How about we start with the curvy pathway? And we're going to start it in the corner of our room. Going curving this way and that way. So up here is that corner. And then let's change to that straight pathway. Straight. Miss Tammy's line went a little crooked. What's the other one that's left? Curvy, straight, do you remember? 
zigzag. Very good. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. There's our full pathway. Do you remember when we went to the jungle with Mr. Monkey in lesson two? We did a three-part pattern. This pattern has three parts too. Curving, straight, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Let's try it. Let's find our standing way. Here we go to the corner. Starting with our curving, are we ready? Ooh, let me get my drum so we have some music with us. Here we go, running in curvy ways. Running, curving this way. Curving, are you curving with me, running feet? Curving. And stop. Now going straight. Let's go in sliding ways, straight. And slide, and slide, and slide. And it ends with those zigzags. Let's go big leaping ways in zigzags. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. Again, here we go. Curving in our running ways. Ready? Here we go. Curving, curving, curving. Sliding in a straight pathway. And slide. friends. Let's try that whole idea with our arms. Here we go. Curving. Our arm curving. 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 And curving. Then it goes straight. You choose which direction you want to move your arm straight. Go straight. And then it goes zigzag. Should we use our elbows or our whole arm? You choose. Here we go. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Right up here, ready again. Curving, 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 going straight. And zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Maybe you want to do that pathway with your legs, traveling through the space. Maybe you want to do it with your arm. You choose. Maybe even with an elbow or with your shoulders. You make those choices. All right, my dancing friends. It's time to go to the magic elevator. Here's Miss Tammy's magic elevator right here. Did you find yours? Here it goes. Doors are closing. Let's go to floor number four today. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And opening the doors. Are you opening your doors? Stepping out of the magic elevator. Oh boy. Stop right in that spot. We came to hot lava land. Hot lava land is very fun, but there's a safety rule. We need to put on our magic suit. Ready? Everyone, let's put on our magic pants to protect us from the hot lava and our magic shirt. There we go. Does everyone have it? Hot lava comes from, do you remember? A volcano. And this hot lava is very fresh, so we need our protective suit on. Let's go get your mittens or your socks, whatever item it was that you got today. These are going to be our hot lava. So here we go, let's spread them all throughout the space. You put yours wherever you choose, making sure there's some space between them. All right, do you have your hot lava out? We were protected from it because of our suit, but now we have to take our protection suit off. 
Now that means we need to be careful where we go so that we don't step on the hot lava. Do you remember our pattern we just did? Curving. Come with me. Curving. And straight. And zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. Our pattern will get us safely in and out through the hot lava. Curving. And straight. And zig, zag. Zigzag, and then we repeat. Repeat means we do it again and again. All right, are you ready to go through hot lava land? Choose your starting place wherever you want to be. Find your starting shapes. Here we go. Curving straight and zigzag. Be careful. Don't step on the hot lava. Right here on Miss Tammy's shirt, 
I have straight pathways. I went to my closet and I found this shirt that has curvy pathways. Do you see all of those curvy pathways? And then I found this shirt with zigzag pathways. Look at that. Zigzag, zigzag. Pathways are all around us. Use your eyes and look for those pathways. See where you can find those. We're going to slide right over here for me to show you something for our next class. I would love for you to always have music to dance with. So in our next lesson, we're going to make an instrument. You may choose to make a drum or a shaker. If you want to make a drum, look around your house for something. It could be an old oatmeal container that's all used and done, or maybe it's a, a different kind of container like this, or even a tissue container. If you would rather, that would be for a drum. If you would rather make a shaker, find an empty water bottle and some beans, or some rice, or wheat, or even some popcorn kernels, or even pasta would work. And then we will use those to make a shaker. It's your choice. Right now, it's really important that we all stay home as much as we can to help keep everyone healthy. So I want you to really look hard to see what you can find at your house so that we don't need to go to the store. If you happen to have a balloon, this is a balloon that has been cut. If you have a balloon, that would be great for the drum, but it's not absolutely necessary. We'll work on this in our next lesson, but there's some things for you to look for. When I clap two times, you find your own shape. Goodbye now, my dancing friends. Our time is ending all too soon. Go out and explore. Learn new things and help with chores. I'll meet you back right here real soon. Goodbye, boys and girls. Until next time. Hi, thanks for watching. If your child enjoyed this, we'd love a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe and click on the bell so you can always know when a new lesson is available. Also, please check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Happy dancing!